All right, yo, this is Matt V2099, and we're gonna do the condom Glock again, but this time we're gonna use the, the badass Glock 20 10 millimeter auto and the appropriate Glock size condoms, the Magnums. And this is a huge shout out to Scott Raffaelli, who was uh, man enough to donate these things. I, I operate on a shoestring budget, so uh, you know when when viewers step up and uh, hook me up with with stuff, it uh, it helps a lot. All right, so we're gonna open these bad boys up. Okay, it looks appropriately Glock sized. Okay, we're going to compare these to the old Canadian ones we used last time. Thanks uh, for the Canadian person who sent the tiny Canadian ones that uh, totally failed on the Glock 17. You can watch that video. We got some real Glock condoms this time. Screw these Canadian ones. Let's open this bad boy up. I think we can fit that on our Glock. But first we're going to lube the pole, not the hole. Hey Matt. Why won't you operate with me? Okay, in the last condom video, the Glock 17 just handily broke through each condom we tried to place on it. Um, they were no match. They just snapped and broke and popped and nothing worked. So this time we are going to lube our our Glock. Let's, this is, I guess, like this, right? Just liberally put some... $17 worth of frog lube right on there, and then we're gonna danger check our fire firearm put one in the chamber there Power stroke well a little too greasy to power stroke it rub some of this lube on here I think that'll help with the application of the uh, prophylactic tap Oh Yeah and Let's see how this works Roll this bitch right on I think this is a, this one should work and not, not break. First we're gonna do it backwards because we're not trying to create a suppressor condom. Uh, too much lube, man. That's what she said. Oh, snap. Well, look at that. It broke. Well, one magnum sized condom was no match for the Glock 20. So let's give it a shot to see what happens down there. No problem, it works just fine. Let's nerd check it. Okay, we've nerd checked the firearm. It's empty. Got a new condom. Let's roll this bad boy in there. I think uh, these magnums are made for chodes, man. Okay, the gun is empty. We're still avoiding putting ourselves in front of the bore. Yeah, if you got a chode, this is the condom for you. Urban Dictionary is your friend. See, it just breaks. The magnums for chodes, it's 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 not long enough. So that's how long these. All right. Pro oh, see, it just breaks. You can't really do more than that. Let's see if that works. Break yourself, fool! Oh, we're totally empty. That was that was weak. Okay, put one on this side. It just breaks. See how how fragile these things are? They're not made for operators. Okay, we got a, a round chambered. So this is the problem. Can't really go further than that. You will break the condom. So what we're gonna do is actually create a hole here because we aren't creating a suppressor. You know what I'm saying? And uh, this I know this freaks out a lot of people. I'm standing to the side and I'm pointing at my camera, you nerd. All right, so let's give this a try. Let's give it a rip. See if, uh, see if it works. Oh, my target's falling over. Look at that. 
Let's analyze the situation here. The condom totally defeated the Glock, as you can see. That's my scientific observation. Okay, so despite the fact that the Glock 20 is way too big for Magnums, if you can just get it on there, they will disable the Glock. The casing got stuck in there, stuck. We got another round in. Okay, as you can see, the rubber got caught in the chamber. So we got a couple rounds off. Yeah, the excessive amount of frog lube did not help with the application of the rubber. Anytime you try to stretch the rubber wide enough to go over a wide part, it just breaks and rips. Here's my new Glock brand Glock knife. Anyways, that was another Matt B2099 operation. Uh, operator out. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching it. If you made it this far, I would love to hear what you have to say in the form of a comment. Let me know what you thought of the video and tell me what other types of videos you would like to see. And if you want to drop a like or a dislike, that's also huge and I would appreciate it. Thank you and that be out.